Hello everybody, today we are back with Megaloot. We are continuing our run with this exciting character right here who is all about the darkness set. They do mind control, they cause confusion over here. It's been a couple of days since I've actually um, played this last, so I gotta kind of remember what we were doing here, but I've got good good feeling about this. We're on floor six, we're gonna try and make it to floor 10 today. I don't know if we will, if we won't, we'll see how it goes, you know, crossing fingers. Um, so what we've built so far is that we have the silver set, which cleanses, um, I think it's at the beginning of, for the first two turns, it cleanses any status effects that we might get. We have Zephyron set happening with, I realize it's the only Zephyron thing that we have are these magical shoes. They are giving us a lot of wisdom though, which wisdom counts towards our attack damage right here because we have magic attack. So um, it's, it's, really, it's really interesting. So if I wanted to change my set, because you can only take items from up to three sets at a time, I could easily change the shoes into something else. And one of the dynamics of this game is that every, um, at the end of the floor, you get a chance to absorb some magical items stats into your like permanent stack block. So that could be something that I could do. We're also running a shadow set. So um, for the shadow set, we have, oh, sorry, it's this. Where is it? Where is it? Wait. I think one of these gives us... Oh yeah, we have attack multipliers. Right, 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 right. So as, as you can see right here, this legendary shadow echo wand is giving us plus 32 magic attack damage, but we're actually multiplying the stat total by the number of shadow items we have equipped. So currently we have one, two, three shadow items equipped. So this isn't giving us plus 32, this is times three. So that should be a plus 96 to our magic attack. Um, yeah, so very interesting. Other things that you can do is you can, if I, so for example, why does this ring look the same? It's not the same. Um, so if I got another uncommon shadow vortex, I could upgrade this ring to a rare. And once I had two rare shadow vortexes, I could upgrade this ring. I think it's to a legendary maybe after rare. So you, you can upgrade things as you go. Eternal is one that I haven't seen before. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can just sell things right here for cash. Um, those are terrible stats, but like great money. So I'm going to hang on to those for a second. Some of the characters steal your money, etc. So you kind of have to like balance it all. Um, yeah, so like if I did this right now, I could change this out. I could because we it's just random boots, right? But look how much our attack damage has dropped just from that. So I'm going to keep up our attack damage for now but i am going to be keeping an eye out just for different things that we can upgrade this down here is our shop what we can use um you just refresh and there it is you know lots of different things that we can use um to upgrade and uh we'll just we'll just keep going currently this character um does have uh, an advantage on electrical damage so if I see some things coming up that are like electrical damage sets, I might take those because just we have a plus 25% on that. But um, I think what we're going to first do is just run into this battle and see where we're at. Because it has been a while. Okay, this guy is confused. He might evil mark us. We're going to get robbed a little bit here, but that's okay. Okay, um, let's see here. This guy is going to hit us for 28 and this guy is not, but this guy will get us on the next turn, so we have to attack him now. Luckily, he was confused and didn't hit us, so I think we can take this one. And this one. Okay, and we made it through that just fine. Our armor and our health refresh, as well as our mana refreshes at the end of every battle, so we're doing pretty good. Now, a Snow Wraith is new. It has Frozen Strike. It applies weakness to us on hit, so I kind of want to get rid of that guy first. But this stun attack is also very scary. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. What should we do here? Okay, so this is also interesting because we are now seeing things like the demonic leggings. What does the demonic items do? It's just... There we go. Multi-attack on the first turn could be really good. Is this better than what we currently have? 12 armor. 
10 armor but 5 max health. So if we were to change this, because we have such good silver stuff, if we were to start shifting into something like a demonic helmet, which could be good because we get multi-attack with this set instead of cleanse, we would just immediately be crashing everything, like everything would die in front of us. It could be good. Do we save it here? We would have to, I wouldn't want to do it piece by piece because we would not be able to, right? You'd have to like save up for it. We're going to think about it first. A common living helmet. Also a different set. The flesh flesh set? That feels bad. Um, This is this is all a lot. Let, let's save that for another run. Let's just try and... um. Oh, see? This one is very interesting. I don't know if this would be better for us. We have the shadow set, right? With the Zephyr's Eye, that gives us 50 wisdom counteract what we're getting from here the critical damage and the penetration i'm not sure it's one of those things where you have to just try and find out but because these boots are worth 400 i mean why not let's let's buy it and check it out we can also always sell it oops 370 it does give us less attack damage just straight up less and there's no multiplier damage on it so i i'm gonna sell it right away it's fine we can handle that Okay, this is where things start to get interesting. We could switch because we have extra electricity damage. We get 25% on it. We could start shifting into this right here. And I think this might be worth it because we're going to get 21 armor, which absorbs damage in place of health, yes. Uh, we would also get electricity. Which applies stacks of electric damage equal to the total electricity to the target. Like this could be, this could be really good. There's un, yeah. You know what? Let's sell these boots, and let's start building an electric set. I'm gonna put it right here. Once we have enough to replace the silver set, we'll do it. We can't replace the silver set yet, but we'll we'll work towards it. A legendary shadow vortex is also really good. Let's just keep that for now. And uh, I think we're gonna just attack. Let's attack this guy first. One nice thing about this game is that if you do it like your first run and things kind of get biffed, like it doesn't work out, you get one more try. Like it'll give you another chance to get at it. Let's get rid of the multi shield, that's bad. Ooh, he hit me so hard. Okay, you sir, you gotta go. Thank you. Now you gotta go. Always keeping an eye up here at what's happening. We made it through that just fine. Absolutely just fine. Barrier is a really tough one. This magic shield can really mess you up. So we're going to aim at him first. And uh, let's just do a little, little cheeky shop refresh. What is this one? Omni ring, vitality ring. Okay, let's refresh. Let's see what we get. Another thing that we learned last time is that if you have two things like two sets for one item like i could not equip this because i don't have the slot for the mercenary set you have to have both so there's some interesting synergies that they have here let's just attack let's just go through it Ooh, a venomous spider that gives us venom spit i think we should get rid of that one first okay now we'll get rid of you oh you're new he gives us a double attack 21 twice is a lot. We gotta be real careful with him. And he has Ironclad, reduces damage coming by 100%. That's crazy. Can we get him? He beat us once. He doesn't have enough energy for his next ability, so we could get him there. So on that guy, we're basically just guaranteed to be damaged, which kind of sucks. Um, but we did make it through this fight just fine. Okay, these are really interesting and fun looking, but I gotta say, um, I'm not really interested in them because they don't have any multipliers for this particular build, so we're gonna just leave it. Um, none of those are interesting to me. Let's also leave it. None of these are a set that I'm interested in. Now, this is kind of interesting. We could sell these for money and just upgrade our ring right away. I'm gonna put these right here or we could keep them just to give us the extra armor buff i'm not sure what we want to do right there yet 
So, um, let's do one more little refresh. Common chainmail, demonic leggings, nothing. Yep, okay. Time to attack. We're gonna get this guy first, because he's a problem. Anything that prevents me from attacking, like, I don't want to deal with. 54 is crazy. Um... If I do this, our, we don't have two mana. Okay, we don't have two mana, so we're going to attack him. And now we're going to attack him. We're going to get stunned. We're going to attack the spider. Ooh, this guy's a problem. Okay. We're going to attack this guy first because he's 20 damage. And then we're going to get this one. Okay, that took us to the maximum of our armor, but we, we made it through. We're fine. Um, this guy has this lifesteal, so they take directly from our health bar, which is not great. Frozen Strike weakens us, which is also not great. Um, but our first attack is going to confuse him, so we're going to get rid of this guy first, I think. Yep, and now he can't use his Frozen Strike anymore so we're safe to get this guy with the evil mark and make sure that he doesn't attack us okay now we want to get the skeleton warrior because skeleton warrior has airy um if he stacks five or more of them he can parry my attack and basically hit me for as much as i hit him which is real bad um okay we're we're doing fine on these fights we're pretty good they're pretty buff this character right here has a first uh, hit instant dodge, which is a really big pain in the butt. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to attack right here. He gets missed. Two hits of 22 is real bad. Um, So we're going to actually get... Ooh, this one's tough. We're going to get this guy first. 30 is also really bad. This guy didn't hit us yet, so we can get this one first. We're gonna take this guy. We're gonna hit this guy twice, which is a little scary. But we have made it. Okay, we've made it. We made it. And now you can see that we actually have this that we can buy. Let's switch it in. But I'm not gonna get rid of this because this is upgradable. We can totally upgrade this and it'll be great. Common, mythic, common, mythic, silver sword. I mean, if we were doing a physical attack, this would be great, but we're not, so we're gonna just refresh. Common, silver ring, none of this appeals. Warrior, gold. Again, we don't need any, any of these right now. An uncommon shadow piercer. This is what we have, so it might be worth. Common Thunderblade is kind of interesting, but I don't think it's good enough for us. Although it has magic attack and electricity, I, I really just don't think it's strong enough. Um, do we save this one to upgrade? Potentially. Let's just lock that one for now and do a little refresh. Common Thunder Helm, we have a rare one. Rare Zephyr's Magical Cloak. Again, not really worth it for us. Okay. Uh, let's attack. This guy has a double attack. We need to get rid of him pretty fast. But this guy has a dodge, and he also hits pretty hard. Um, and this one has a confusion strike. I don't like the idea of being hit twice, so let's see what happens if we do this. Okay. Now I think we go for this one. <sighs> no, we get rid of him. Okay. He has been got rid of. Gotta get rid of this barrier. I don't know if we're gonna survive this fight. <sighs> okay, I misplayed that. I misplayed that big time. Um, I also think that this is a good fight to do some conversions. So we're gonna convert this, this, and this into stats. Um, we're gonna keep this one around because that's actually pretty good. So we'll finish right there. Can we buy this now? Legendary Shadow Vortex. Plus 28% magic attack. I mean, yeah. Can we equip it is the question. We can't equip during battle. Okay. 
Um, what is the, I think we need to get rid of this guy first. I think I made a mistake the first time. And that I really should have just done that right off the bat. We're gonna get the wizard skeleton now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This guy's hitting us for 39. This guy's hitting us for seven, so it makes more sense to get rid of this guy. His, he has two dodges though, which is so scary. Oh, he, his dodge costs three, so we, it's gonna just be two hits. There we go. Get rid of this guy, because he has five venom. Okay. Ooh, so scary. So like the order that you play things is actually really, really important in surviving these battles. Um, I took the path where we always have six enemies, so that's always something to think about. Mythic Ring of Anger, we don't need. We will refresh. Common Thunder Riders is kind of interesting. This is a Thunder Electricity item, um, but we could change that out. I want to see what happens if we... Oh, we can't. Is that our set item? Okay, we can't do that. Um, okay, let's refresh again. Common Thunder Blade. I wonder if we should just buy this one just to get more i wonder if like the way that it spawns items is the more you buy the more you get i wonder it's 239 let's just buy it and let's see what happens okay uncommon shadow vortex is which one this is a ring rare shadow vortex uncommon shadow vortex <gasps> okay i'm gonna sell these boots watch the magic happen we're gonna upgrade this ring to a rare and now we can upgrade our ring right here to a legendary and now we can upgrade our legendary to a mythic which is great that feels great um did it give us a huge thing right here no but was it worth it yes i think it was let's just do a little quick refresh see if we get anything else interesting Mmm, it's just fine. It's fine. Okay. What are we going to do first? I think we're going to get this stun attack first because everyone's going to be confused. Great. 31, 2 for 23 is 40, so we're going to get this guy first. 31, 31. These are a problem, but we'll get rid of this column first. We'll get rid of this guy next. 11 and 8. We can deal with the 8. We'll get rid of this one. And then we'll get rid of this one. There we go. Okay. Ooh, this is such a problem. 40 or 46. We have to take this one. This guy is going to be confused, so his frozen strike won't hit us at first. And I think that's fine. We're just going to keep refreshing in the background just to, like, make sure that we can keep going. Any electric stuff? Legendary Arcanum Shoes is kind of interesting. 28 Wisdom. 20 Wisdom, 8 Agility, more gold. Is this worth taking? Really hard to say. What does the Agility do for us? It reduces the precision of the attacker. It gives us extra dodge. So, currently though, we have... Where's our agility? 90% agility. So they shouldn't be hitting us that much anyways. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, Arcanum. While magic shield is active, gain extra magic damage. Oh, but we don't have magic shield. So I'm not sure that set is worth it for us. Rare Vitality Ring. I think we're good to just switch it up. Switch it up. Uncommon Silver Leggings. That's a little too far for us. Golden Sabatons. The Magical Shoes we can easily upgrade, so let's take those. Ooh, a Rare Thunder Helm. We can't afford it yet, so we'll just hold it. Um, yeah. Let's do one more refresh here. 12 armor, 5 armor, 5 armor. One more. Okay, this one seems a little bit better. Let's see if we can get through this fight. Scary. 
Okay, we... He now can't hit us. Oh, gosh. They're both 40. I think we got to take Evil Mark. This guy can't do his Frozen Strike to weaken us. So we're going to take this one. I'm very scared about the 40 damage incoming. So let's get rid of him because his damage is higher. We're going to attack him. Anything that we get hit now is going to come from our actual health, which is very scary. But we just survived this fight. Okay, it's fine. We, we made it. We survived. Um, okay. All very scary things right here. We're going to deal one confusion to these guys to begin with, which is going to be great so we can get this one first. Um, I think we do a refresh right here. Common Thunder Helm, Rare Thunder Helm, Mana Guardian, Legra Leggings. I mean, hmm, hmm. I still like what we have. That could be the wrong choice, but we're just gonna go for it. Cross fingers, everybody. Okay, he is confused. We should really get rid of one of these. The Harpy is such a problem. Um, let's get rid of this guy. Okay, that brought up a bigger problem, because now we... Oh my god. Okay, that was, that was, that was bad. That was real bad. Okay, um, we need to rethink. We gotta get the Confusion Strike out first. We need to get this Confusion Strike out next. We cannot deal with him. Okay, real bad. Um, we get rid of this guy first because we'll survive with some armor even if we take 215 hits. Yep, we uh, need to convert. Let's get some max health. Let's get extra penetration. Let's get extra wisdom. We're gonna keep the Thunder Helm. Let's take out this guy. We, we, no, we perished. I don't know how I could have won that one. That one was a tough one. Our, they just got rid of our armor so fast. Um, we surpassed 45% of players reaching floor six, which I think is great. I think that this was a really good run. Um, yeah. What do y'all think? What could I have done better on that last fight? Let me know. Um, I'm, I'm, I really like this game. I think y'all should try it if you haven't yet. All right, let's write a death method message. Spite. Spite was here. Um, keep thriving. There we go. There we go. Uh, let's confirm that. And hopefully somebody will find that when they go on their own runs. Alright everybody, that's it for today. Thank you so much. You can see the synergies that I had here. Maybe my mistake was trying to uh, get a different synergy. Maybe I should have stuck with what I had. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. That's all for today. Have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!